Hey everybody, it's Maction, and uh, well, Qualcomm has fooled me again. They bought this nice shiny blue TARDIS, and I thought I was going to go, oh my goodness, look where I've traveled to, through space and time to CTIA Wireless. I wonder what magical devices I have to see today. And we're here at the Qualcomm booth, and we've got some, we've got a wireless display here, um, and I'll just let Alessandro here um, take us away. Sure. So uh, what we're showing here is um, Wi-Fi display. Wi-Fi display is a standards-based technology that allows you to stream uh, videos, uh, photos from a source to a sink. In order to do that, it uses a Wi-Fi technology called Wi-Fi Direct, also known as peer-to-peer. -peer. allows you to establish a direct Wi-Fi connection between the source, in this case a phone, and a sync device, in this case this dongle. Uh, this dongle connects to any television having a, an HDMI interface through which the signals go, the, the video and the photos and so on. This box also has a USB interface and you connect the USB cable to it for power purposes only. So any TV that has a USB interface, an HDMI interface, can connect to this box and all of a sudden what you have is the ability to send your uh, photos to, I can send your photos to the TV. So let's say you've taken some photographs and you go home and you want to show them to the family. You can do that. As you can see the latency is actually pretty good. As I move my finger, aside from the, um, the screen itself, but when I move my finger, the um, what you see happening on the screen is actually pretty, pretty fast, pretty close to what's happening on the on the phone screen. So this is photographs, but you can also show movies. So, for example, I can do this, and you you actually cannot hear it very well because there's lots of background noise. But if you get close, you can hear the audio. So we're streaming audio and video uh, to the TV from the phone. Nice. Really, the, the, the big advantage of this is that it does not require an infrastructure. You could, you could take this phone and the dongle with you anywhere you go, even in an environment that has no Wi-Fi. You can connect the dongle to the TV and you can do this through Wi-Fi. It doesn't require an access point. So what we've essentially got here is like a good old-fashioned crossover cable, but wireless. Just plug one device into the other, but Wi-Fi direct, straight on with wireless. Yes, pretty much. I mean, you're, you could do the same thing by connecting the cable from your phone to the TV, right? But it's kind of cumbersome. So the advantage of this is just Wi-Fi. You can, you can walk into your, your friend's house and do the same thing. You just connect the dongle up and then move around and, and show the contents of your phone. You could also be doing, uh, let's see. So as you can see, it's reproducing exactly what's going on in the... Uh, on the phone screen, but you can play, you can play games with this. So this is Angry Birds. Angry Birds, an industry standard, folks. <laughs> and you can do this. I'm not very good, by the way, but at Angry Birds. But there you go. Headshot, first time. So yeah, it's 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 a really neat technology, and you know we expect this to really do well. We expect it to take off in a pretty big way. Is Wi-Fi Direct a, a standard, you say? Yes. Um, adopted by the, I guess, the Wi-Fi Wi Wi Alliance, opposed by the Wi-Fi Rebels, FYI. We know you're out there. Um, but uh, is it, it's, so it's a presently accepted standard by the Wi-Fi Alliance right now? Absolutely, yes. So there's, there's, there's tests that get done, there's interoperability that gets done. So all the participants, all the members go and they do their you know, testing to make sure that all the, the P2Ps work together. That's, that's the point. So this is a key advantage of this technology. It's all standards based. I mean, you can, you can achieve the same result you know, by developing special software, but the key point here is this is all standards based. So that's what allows things to take off or the adoption rate to take off in a big way.
because it's Wi-Fi direct standards based. Wi-Fi display itself is standards based. So in the end, you know, once the, this gets adopted in a big way, any phone that's Wi-Fi display and Wi-Fi direct standard compliant, and any sync such as this that's standard compliant, will be able to talk to each other, and you'll be able to send content over. Excellent. Well, I think that answers all the questions that we have. Alessandro, thank you thank very you. much. It's been great talking with you.